All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to take a quick look at Caspa here. So Caspa did break the high. We came up here to about 5.4. You can see that from the low to that new high uh, at 5.4, we're coming already back down to the 2.36 at 4.79, pretty much 4.8 on Caspa here. So if Caspa can stay over 4.8, it is still extremely bullish for a push higher. You could potentially even come down to your 3.82 back to the top here from this high to this low at 4.4 and still be extremely bullish here. So watch 4.8 and then watch 4.4 here. If you hold any of those for support and get a bounce, then Caspa's uh, probably gonna blow through this high up here and start going uh, to these higher price targets here. Uh, one thing of concern I would watch is the fact that we've been pointing out this, this uptrend that we have been bouncing along, as you can see here on that white line, we did break below it. We are testing it twice now as resistance right at that level here. Now uh, you can see the reason we got stuck where we got stuck after breaking the high is from that high to that low. We smacked right into the 1618 here at 541. So if we can break over that, potentially breaking this uptrend now turn resistance and then we can hit these higher price targets. Uh, what we can do is measure as long as we hold this five level, we're kind of going back and forth at the moment. If we can maintain holding on to that 1414 at 5 and then breaking over for a 7% move up and breaking over that um, trend line and breaking over that 542 level, then there's a good chance that CASPA is going to spike up about, about 30, 31, 32% up here to the 6.5 penny level. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye on these prices and we'll see uh, which support is going to hold here. So we can go ahead and just get this off of the chart. You can see our 0.5 retracement all the way down here at 4.1. I would say if Caspa is going to have a deep retracement, 4.1 should be the bottom at that 0.5. You can see that is the 7.86 here. Uh, so if we break through 4.8, watch 4.4. If we break through 4.4, the bottom should be about 4.1 here. I don't think we should break back below 4 on Caspa. So if we do get any pullbacks here, these may be the last days to get in on Caspa at these cheap prices here, uh, below five cents. So potentially a 10% drop, 10, 11% drop down to 4.4 on Caspa before we spike out of here. So we'll leave it at that for now on Caspa, just kind of keep an eye on those prices and we'll see where this thing goes. And with that said, not financial advice. We'll see you in the next one and peace out.